head of Savage. Cat, she's always running us way into action. And the White Dragon, who unlike his evil twin brother, uses his ninja powers to me for good. The battle appears. On the land and in the air. But with Rambo and the force of freedom, justice and liberty will never surrender, no matter what they are. experience the mind unbounded. Amica, the first personal computer. The present is horrible. The future looks bleak. Remember our childhood. We get us through the week We're getting re-enthused Back to the past And the things we use We all know That our pasts were great Escaping the things that Today we hate Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused Stop, Savage. Rambo. 
He's not just another Joe. He's a fighting machine. Expert in all tactical weapons and guerrilla warfare. Rambo's the one man you want when the going gets rough. But a fight won't be easy because General Warhawk doesn't fight fair. And he doesn't fight alone. Second in command is Sergeant Harry. He tries on treachery and dirty tricks. Mad Dog, he's one mean dude with a real short fuse. Gripper, a ruthless mercenary. He rewrote the book on combat. No man, a terrorist who's not about seizing hostages or planting a bomb. And the final member of Savage is a Black Dragon, a deadly ninja warrior. But if freedom and justice are to survive, the only hope is with Rambo and the Force of Freedom. Fighting alongside Rambo is Colonel Troutman, the toughest CO in the Special Forces. Turbo, an electronics whiz, whose inventions keep the force of freedom one step ahead of Savage. Cat, she's always ready to swing into action. And the White Dragon, who unlike his evil twin brother, uses his ninja powers only for good. The battle will be fierce. We caught on the land. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, I can't hear myself. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> now we are playing some Thompson T07 games, Clang. Here we are. Look, you missed. You missed the giant. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I have not. I've been messing around with the whole setup, and I did that about six minutes before I was due to kick everything off, as because of course I did. So anyway, yes, we are playing some Thompson T07 games. Um, I just wanted to because I got the uh, I got a cartridge through the post from uh, uh, some French gentleman and uh, yeah, just so we test it out. Uh, I was going to do it on my T08, which is the model kind of well several after this one, but after this one, is it still the same? It should not be the same. That's because I was trying to just stream on YouTube because I wanted to, and. It wouldn't let me. It made me multi-stream, which I did not want to do, and I think it just doesn't bother changing. Oh, it looks it looks right to me. Let me take a look. I can't actually tell. Is it? Hmm. Uh, okay, yeah, that should be should be correct. Interesting, because to me, it's not saying that. Hmm. Well, some people might be disappointed then, <laughs> as I'm sure you are. But it's still, you know, it's a it's a French computer and it's it's wonderful and it's it's lovely. You can't quite see the loveliness because I have my low res camera looking at the machine, and if I try to use this, move my actual camera, then everyone will be seasick. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, it is lovely, and it's got uh, it's got like a built-in like pen as well. Which just built in light pen, which just exudes French style. Look at that. It's a wonderful machine. Anyway. <laughs> yes, we are playing some games on the uh, French 80s computer, the Thompson T07, uh, using a Mega ROM cartridge, as you can see on the screen. The usual caveats apply. We are playing this on an actual T07. It is a very old machine. <laughs> I have serviced it to a degree, but there is every chance at some point during this stream it will suddenly stop working. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. O'Grady. How are you doing, Snorks? Yeah, so... Oh, you're called James O'Grady. Were you always... No, you were called... You're definitely still called What, uh, uh, what Host Snorkers on here, weren't you? That's, is that a new thing? That you decided to go professional and use your name? Right. What was I doing? I was talking about this. Anyway, yes. So, um, yeah. So it may it may blow up. Hey, Zabon, how are you doing, man? 
<laughs> you do. <too. laughs> uh, yeah, it might blow up because it's an old machine uh, and things happen. I fixed this once. You may have um, you may have seen some of my, my posts on it. The keyboard died. It's a membrane keyboard because they are the devil's own keyboard connection. I fixed it with copper foil. Excellent way of fixing uh, membrane keyboards, but make sure you use the double-sided stuff that's actually conductive on both sides. But anyway, it's now working to that degree. I've never used it for an extended period of time, except when I did a video on it. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, of course, because I'm doing it on YouTube. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I was warned not to do it on YouTube because um, it tanks your uh, your view analytics. Um, and so if your view analytics get tanked, then YouTube don't share your videos, which kind of makes it even worse. It's like a, it's like a decreasing circle. Uh, but they don't bother sharing my videos anyway, according to my analytics. So may as well just, <laughs> may as well stream on the on YouTube. Oh, thank you, Snorkers. <laughs> um, yeah, right, anyway, let's get into it. Now, this menu, you're going to see this menu and, and think that it's very, very dim and you can't read it. Let me assure you that I also can't read it. It's very dim. So, hey, thank you, Quang. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Now I think the ones that are really, really dim on the on the right side of the menu, they are actually just not available. Um, yeah, it was, it's it's a lot of bold choices used. <laughs> oh, thanks, uh, Snorks again. Then but he is a most generous fellow. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of bold choices used in the menu on this. Certainly. Yeah, I think if I had the when I plugged it into the TO8 and I managed to get the TO8 to start up, I've got to do a lot of work on that machine. It's a gorgeous machine again. All the Thompson machines are actually gorgeous, but I've got to get. There's so many issues with it. I've got to fix it. Um, I think all of these menu items were available, so I suspect it's just because some of these menu items only work on the TO8, the more advanced machine. Uh, right. So let's just start at the top. Zero is is grayed out, so I'm assuming we don't use that one. So we're going to start at one. I don't know how to say that, uh, which will depress my forefathers. I am half French Canadian um, but I don't really read French Les Sem Ax Les Sankim Ax the fifth no I won't try I'm yeah it's just embarrassing right well let's just start it we'll see what it is can you hear that can you hear the game is it is it too loud So, uh, not all the games use joystick. Some of these... These options might change that. This joystick does work. This is, of course, the absolutely wonderful, the best joystick ever created for an 8-bit micro. The Cheetah Ballistic. It's not. It's not bad. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello, Mr. Ashens. <laughs> How are you? Uh, right. So I don't know if we can use joystick on this. I've never successfully got keys working on any of them. So there may be something I'm missing or the keyboard. Oh, thank you very much, Ashens. Or did somebody, or was that snorkers again? You can never tell. Um, it's too define, define personal. So what is, oh, just name, okay. Oh, oh, hello. Is this, is this role playing? Hello, Taz. Nice to see you. What? Okay, I don't know what that was. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Tenta la chance. Ta chance. Right, here we go. Oh, this is the one like Mission Impossible. Yes, I played this. There we go. Impossible Mission, sorry, not Mission Impossible. Punch the Minotaur. Punch the Minotaur. Oh. 
little tippy toe. Tippy toe animation. Look at this. Right, so basically, some of these pads make you go up. Some of them make you go down. <laughs> I love the tippy toe animation. Uh, okay, nothing is letting me go up, which is a problem. Because, oh, there we go. I got it. That's it. That's fine. I was pressing the wrong button. That makes a lot of sense. Right, so now we can actually jump over. Okay. This might be tricky. <laughs> jump. There we go. We're over. Oh, mother brain. Come on, mother brain. I'll take you on. I don't know. I've never really looked into it, Matt. It's a good point. Because I remember I pressing the wrong button again. The um the arrow keys are in a little bit of a weird situation. Why can't I use joystick? That would be just much more convenient. Right. Oh no, what? <laughs> I mean, the animation is pretty good, actually. The tippy toes, especially, obviously. Oh, no. Okay. Die, weird. Oh, that was. Oh! <laughs> that looked a bit. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing the symbols mean something, right? No, fall down, right. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Game Whisperer. Thanks for joining us. Uh, right. <laughs> Swapping tips with Eric Cantona. Ah. Oh. Die, weird snake creature. Oh, it's a dragon. Die, dragon. Die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really liking this game. <laughs> oh, the tippy to animation, everything is just brilliant. Oh, no. I want to just... That's it. There we go. It is incredible. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I've got my curtains open and it's really distracting because there are a lot of seagulls around here for some strange reason. Oh. I'm guessing I need some objects to unlock things, but... Come on. We can... Oh. Oh, you can jump over. Oh, die, mother brain. I've got no sardines. I know that. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Um, I kind of like that game. I'm... <laughs> I might end up going back to that at some point. Now, um, let's try restarting. Yeah, there we go. So we go back to Mega Rom. Okay. That wasn't a terrible game. I, I kind of enjoyed that. Uh, what you will see as well, as we go through this, I've done a video on the Tom some of the Tonsa computers, and I've kind of explained this. And I did... Um, is it out yet? It's not out yet. Uh, if you... Um, no, it is out. It is out. If you subscribe to Fusion Magazine, I, I did an article on the kind of baby brother of this one, which was the home kind of version of this, uh, the MO5. And I kind of explained that one of the big things about these Thompson computers are that a lot of uh, games publishers that we know now, like Ubisoft, they actually started on these machines. And so there's some really like old 8-bit games that they made that just never came out in England. Um, right, Airbus. Now, 
I'm going to assume that Airbus, I'm assuming, is some kind of simulator. Oh, okay. Uh, take off, landing, and, and flight. I'm going to go with flight because experience has taught me that if you don't know how to play a flight simulator, the hardest things to do are taking off and landing. So let's go with flight, and then we might get a few minutes of play. Now, is it going to let me use the joystick? Oh, what? Uh, what's this mean? Just, just, just start. <laughs> There is crazy cars. That's almost outrun. Oh, I don't... Okay. I think I've already... I'm not even in the game yet and I'm stuck. How do we start? Um, okay. Well, that was... um. Oh, okay. As yeah, sometimes because they load up in memory, they actually stay at this cartridge thing. I think that if it's a cartridge game, then it can stay there. Let's try again, and we'll try one of the other options because maybe we'll get into something faster then. I didn't try the joystick. I should have probably tried the joystick. I just assumed it would. Oh, uh, right. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's try take off because that's presumably going to be the easiest. That just okay. Or maybe it's just not working. Also possible. <laughs> Let's restart. For everyone that's joined, we are playing some games on the uh, French Thompson TO7 computer, an 80s computer. Um, again, we're playing on actual hardware. This is the machine right here. There we go. Uh, but because it's old machine, there is every chance that by the time we get to the end of this, or halfway through, or in five minutes, it might just stop working. I've done some maintenance on it, but it happens. It's an old machine. <laughs> Might die. Uh, right, I am not going to try Airbus again. That just seemed not to be anything. Okay, Androids, I know. It's basically um, a load runner. Now, can I use joystick? That's the question. And the answer is no. Right. Uh, okay, not cursor keys. Oh, come on. How do we play? Well... <laughs> Um, yes, there is. There is a good uh, Tom's one. I had to use one to get some uh, a decent screenshot of actually this game, weirdly enough. Um, oh, uh, uh, yeah, I know I ran out of time. Uh, Mess and Mame do uh, emulate it, although it's tricky to get started, but they do work. Uh. Oh, Manex Clavier. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. There we go. That's his joystick, so why would it work? Okay, obviously this joystick is not working for it, but clavier means keyboard, so let's go with that. So hopefully now we can use the key we can use the keyboard. Yay! There we go. Right. And if you ever played Load Runner, basically you have to pick up all the gold, and you can dig holes to make these bad robots fall down it. There we go. Goodbye.
Haha. Oh, no, down, down. Oh, that's, um... Oh, no, so we've got, we got him trapped. That turned out to be a perfect strategy. Look at that. There we go! <laughs> Who says I'm terrible at games? Right, so anyway, yeah, this is basically, um... This is basically Androids. It is Load Runner. If you've never played Load Runner, you absolutely should. It's one of the best games ever made. Oh, okay. That's how do I get there? So we'll go across here. Oh, blind me! Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh oh, uh oh. I, I may have been. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's interesting. There we go. We can go through there. There we are. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna claim the AI on this game is particularly good, obviously. Oh, okay, I tried to dig and I missed. Right, anyway, Androids. <laughs> it's a, it's all right, it's an okay game. Um, I had it on obviously the lowest difficulty, I think there, accidentally. It was accidentally. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, well, there's a game we know, Arkanoid. I mean, I'm assuming it's Arkanoid. It looks like it says Arkanoid. Again, it's not very clear. <laughs> uh, one player or two players. Uh, let's sell the touch. Okay, there's nothing there to say I can choose joystick. Story to pass a prelate in I understand about one in 20 words of that. Oh, God. Now, the problem is, it may be that we just need the joystick in the other port. Because it definitely looks like the keyboard isn't working. Yeah, the joystick's definitely not working. Oh, I've accidentally... <laughs> it's quite nice looking, though. We can't play it, but it's quite nice looking. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly try switching the joystick over uh, into, another, into the other port. So, bear with me. Entirely convinced the uh, the joystick adapter on this is particularly great. Um, it wobbles around quite a lot, and so do do the actual joystick ports themselves. Right. Uh, yeah, when, I, I think it was on this month, wasn't it? So I did the um, the Super Cassette Vision one, which was, I think, by far, other than charity ones, the longest stream I've ever done. That one. Because there are just so many games. There's no guarantee this is going to work. All I've done was swap it over. I'm pretty sure... Well, this joystick definitely worked with a couple of games. So, um, it definitely works. I've got a very itchy nose. You didn't need to know that, but I'm letting you know. Hey! It did! Okay, right. This is a game changer. How do I start the ball? Oh, okay. Space apparently quits. I am using the Cheetah Ballistics joystick, possibly the finest joypad ever made for 8-bit machines. At least the finest joypad called the Cheetah Ballistics. That time it just started randomly. That's um, interesting. Okay, I don't think the fire button's working. <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> that's not bad. That's uh, they look. It looks quite. Certainly looks better than the Spectrum version. Anyway, let's put it that way. And yes, I realise that's blasphemy. How does that? What? How did that work? Why does that bounce off of? Oh. <laughs> it sometimes fires it and sometimes doesn't. 
I've got also fire on. Right, there we go. Right, I, do, yeah, I don't know why the fire buttons aren't working. There's definitely nothing I can push to do that. Arkanoids now we just let it just let it bounce around a bit. It does look nice and the the movement's nice and fast. Oh no that just kind of No oh, uh oh now I've got to actually do some work again. Um Oh, there we go. Yeah, I I haven't been streaming recently because I was hit by the COVIDs. And uh, it kind of knackered me a little bit for quite a while. I think I'm slowly getting my energy levels back now, which is good. You can cheat against the next level. Uh, so hopefully I'll be streaming again more regularly. Um, I, can't like, I quite like it. No colour clash, obviously. Um, and uh, lots of colour on screen. Some interesting geometrical backgrounds. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not very good at Arkanoid at the best of times, but also not knowing when it's going to fire because the fire button isn't working. It's not helping. <laughs> I mean, it might just be that it's not fully compatible with this joystick, but yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, like the omelette de fromage. Didn't know how it was, man. Right, Atomium, number five. All right. Uh, I think I've done two or three since COVID. Oh, what? Uh, difficulty level? Okay, I'm going to go for one. What's that? Um, computer level? Don't know. Don't know what that... Oh, oh no, this looks complicated. Um, what? I don't know what this is. What's it? What's it want from me? <laughs> Mon Dieu! I, I've got no idea what this is expecting from me. Oh. I assume numbers, but... Oh, oh, I did something. I did something. What'd I do? Oh, okay. No, I've got it now. That's odd. Delete, delete, delete. Uh, so, I guess... 40? No? No, maybe that's small numbers. 13 by 40? No? I don't know what... Oh, I did something. What'd I do? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, uh, F. I've got to push a button that's called F. E F F. <laughs> Twelve by thirty-two. I don't know. I've got no idea. Um, we're just going to change games. Oh, we've got to turn this one off. Oh, hello. Remember when I said this might break down? This might be happening now. Yeah, this ain't looking good. I'll just reseat the cartridge. It's fine. It's all okay. Uh... Avenger. Oh, hello. This looks pretty. Play with manettes. Yes, play with manettes. However... <laughs> Really? That's interesting to know. 
the moment though it's just not doing anything so maybe this joystick is not quite working after all we'll go back to avenger we might change the joystick over again and we'll go for balsavar my word balthazar oh hello that looks oh i think I've, I've played this one i have played this one before basically as far as it can work out you play as a as some homeless guy which kind of feels <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a fire button in this game so I'm going to go ahead and assume that the fire button on this joystick is not working that's that's annoying Okay, we... <laughs> Be attacked by a child! What the hell? Oh, now I'm fighting. Oh, I'm on the floor. Um... <laughs> that was... That was grim! <laughs> This is by Titus. This is by Titus, isn't it? No, EH Services. Okay. No, this is by bloody Titus, because they have a French company as well. This is the oddest game ever. Right, so up we go. So we are... Oh, we're being... Yeah, he's going to attack us, isn't he? And I don't know how to beat him. Nope, he didn't attack us. Right. So, so now we're drinking booze. We get points by drinking booze. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the animation's good though. <laughs> This is a strange title. I'm kind of loving the title. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, we're not going to be able to pick up that bottle for some... Oh, oh, there's 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 multiple flashes. Run past them. Are they monks? They may be monks. That makes things even worse. Into the bin with us. Oh, on the floor. On the floor. I think maybe on the floor is a, is a defense mechanism. Oh! Ah! I punched a child! <laughs> oh my word! What the. There's multiple bottles of booze here. Like, let's, drink, let's drink all the booze. All the booze. Oh, the child's punching us. What? This is a lot of. This is a lack of respect for your. Not only your elders, but your homeless elders. Let's run this way. Oh, the gendarmes. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm being punched by gendarmes. Hunts of gendarmes, go on. Okay, we lost. <laughs> that is an odd, odd game. <laughs> oh, I'm at the top. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> that is. That was truly amazing. Right, uh, Blitz is next. I think that's eight, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this... Is this chess? Okay, chess. I can work out. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, it's keyboard. Right, that's fine. I can... Oh. Uh...
Oh, how do I move them then? How do I move you? There we go. <laughs> but it's chess. We're not going to stay around and play chess. <laughs> I think we all know chess. Oh, okay. We've got to turn it off. Okay, so this is obviously worrying. Because it's a... Uh, will it turn back on? It did! Uh, oh, my word. What is that? Oh, well, that's, that's numbers and letters, right? So that's going to be some educational thing. We'll take a brief look. Okay. The computer is good. Is that right? Oh, that can get, that can get in the bin. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's, it's literally, is this number correct or something? Right. Oh, choplifter, look at this. It's a shame Ponder's not here, he'd like that. Is that an A? I think that's an A, right? It's choplifter. can't start it or anything which you know is a disappointment oh that's that's is that right is that doing the right thing uh well that that's 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 a shame is that i mean i don't even know if that's doing the correct thing or if it's just <laughs> if it's just crashing <laughs> Apologies for, for anyone that, that's being affected by this. I mean, it's the official game. It's, it's licensed to Brodebund. But yeah, nothing is starting it. I'm starting to think that the, uh, the joystick is temperamental at best. I probably need... Uh... I don't think I've got an Atari joystick anywhere nearby. I do have an Atari joystick literally nearby. <coughs> because of course I have, because I've got like about a billion of these things hanging around. Right, so I'm going to switch this off and I'm going to plug in a uh, an Atari joystick. Because that worked on everything, right? If you had a random joystick and it didn't tell you what it accepted, then you just use an Atari joystick. Plugging the other one into the other port as well, just so we can see if anything works. I say that, I can't actually... Why are you not going in? I've got another, joy I've got another joystick interface in the other room for, for the M05, but I think it will work on this. I may go and get it. Because this doesn't feel like it's working. <coughs> oh no, here we go. Right. It's fine. I think we're okay. Probably. Right. I will charge Choplifter again. Now I have this. Appears changeless. The situation has not changed. Which is a shame, but we are not playing Choplifter.
The second option on, on this screen, by the way, we, I talked about it right at the beginning, but not recently, is uh, you see that it looks like a bit like a light pen, kind of, because it does have a built-in light pen, and if you had a CRT, I have tried it on my CRT, uh, then you can choose the options by just touching on the screen. And, uh, and it will just choose the options that way instead. It's a very fancy light pen as well, made of metal. It's a very stylish company, Thompson. <laughs> right, okay, we'll go back maybe to Choplifter. So, Classics B. Oh, here's Titus. Oh, hello. So, what? Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and Breakout. Oh. Again, though, the, the, the fire button is not working. The joystick's working, but the fire button isn't. So I'm guessing the wiring isn't Atari. Which is annoying. That's fine, I can use the joystick to move and the uh, space bar to fire. This is an interesting version of Space Invaders. The collision detection is certainly interesting. Ah, ah! Why are you not letting me fire? Come on! Move, move! <laughs> oh, fancy. Okay, uh, fair enough. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and assume, based on the looks, that these aren't licensed classics games. Uh, how do I get out of this? Can I just reset? Whenever you want it to actually be um, in memory, it's not. Right, we'll go back to classics. We'll try. We'll try Pac-Man. I don't know if we'll bother with Breakout. It's Breakout. Play a bit of Packers. Oh, that's not a bad. That's not bad. Not bad. I'm. I'm. Oh no 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 no. Uh, no death animation though. Loses points based on that. Oh god, they come back quick. Again, I don't think... I've got a strange suspicion that it's not licensed. But... <laughs> oh, God, these are tricky. It's, it's just a way of building up your confidence. If you get the, if you get the high score, it tells you the best. It's not the worst Pac-Man clone I ever played. It's a long way from the best as well, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, oh right, Classics Two. What else do they have in score? Uh, I think that's a C or a B. It's a C. It's quite hard to read this menu. Classics Volume Two. Oh, oh, this has got a fancier menu. Look at that. I can't tell what some of these games are. Oh, is this... Um, that block-pushing game, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, God, this is interesting. Yeah, that's the one, Pengo. Oh, although, because, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't push the, the things because, uh, there we go. <laughs> right, now we're... No, I've done this very wrong. I've done this very wrong. Oh, 
die. There we are. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's basically Pengo, but just kind of not a very good version of it. I don't think I play Freeze Bees. I'll have to look it up. Right. Let's go to the next Classics pack. Oh, that's, that's definitely Dig Dug. Centipede, Dig Dug, and what looks like... I'm going to go say Berserk or something. Right. Well, let's try Dig Dug, because Dig Dug is one of the best games ever made. Oh, hello. I don't think this is going to be one of the best games ever made. <laughs> it's it's a lot more complicated when when you have to use the space bar to fire. Oh, I get the space bar isn't actually working. Okay, <laughs> that that may not be the best version of Dig Dug ever made. Come on, oh god, come on. That's it takes forever to do this. Uh, I'm just gonna wait here. Oh no, that didn't work. <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> that's not that's not a great version of Dig Dug. Uh but I'm definitely gonna try Berserk out. I guess it's more um what's the other one? Uh, the follow-up to Berserk. It's more like that, I guess. Walk into my fire, damn you. It's kind of weird that it plays like a slight tune as you're firing. Yeah, I win. <laughs> um... It's not a terrible game, I guess. <laughs> uh, right, I guess the last of the classics. Volume floor four. That was a <laughs> frenzy. That's the one. Thank you, Matt. Uh, so that looks like Frogger. That looks like Quicks, and that looks like Qbert. Well, I guess we'll try Frogger out then. Oh, blimey, that's some fast cars. Oops. Oh, God. This, this feels like it's like the easiest version of Frogger going, and I am failing. Oh, my word. I tried to go. <laughs> I wonder how many of the design decisions on this game were solely so they didn't get sued by uh, whoever it was that made Frogger. I can't remember. Uh, right, we'll try one more on this. Because we should try Cuba out, right? Oh, got that moves fast. Okay. That's a very quick version of Cuba. Oh, some things turn the uh, the squares back the other colour. That, that's a tricky addition. Oh, oh, from well, they managed to stick sneak their own uh, logo in there as well as part of uh, as one of the bad guys, which you know. It's never a good uh, statement to make. There we go. <laughs> right, that is um, that is that is that is a version of Cuba. There's definitely that. Uh, right, control. A oh no, I'm not loading up control Arian. I okay, I'll load up control Arian. I tried this on another machine and I could not work out 
for the life of me what was going on. Uh, one. Right, I don't know now. What What is this? What are we doing? Um... I mean, airport control, right? I mean, that's what that is. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> don't know. And of course, it's one of the ones that that stay in memory resident. Right. I think the computer only goes weird if I move it around. So I think it is the actual uh, cartridge moving uh, out of place. Right. Crazy cars. Here we go. Are you ready for I can't believe it's not outrun? I think a lot of us will have played crazy cars. Because it came out on quite a few... Oh, no. Go on, round you go. It came out. This is not easy to play on a... Uh, can I play it on... Yes, okay. This is going to be a lot easier to play on this joystick. Oh, Pete, I'll help you out. It's, um, it's actually quite good graphics. <laughs> bit, bit monochrome, obviously, but... I think they're, they're not bad graphics, all in all. No, it doesn't feel like 202 uh, kilometers per hour. That is very true. <laughs> the backgrounds. I mean, the backgrounds look like every single 80s background racing from a racing game. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's not terrible. It's That's about as good as it is on every platform going. Apologies if there's any particular fans of crazy cars. Uh, oh, crypto. Oh, no, no. See, these are these vivid, vivid, Viffy guys. So these are the ones that have made all the really boring Sim-style games. Uh, what? I've just worked... Oh, sorry. I've just worked out why a bunch of these games aren't working from these guys. They need to use... I bet they need to use the light pen. That's why. What's, what do these even mean? What are those icons trying to say? What? What? I don't know. I'm not playing that. <laughs> Those Viffy guys, I'm pretty sure that they, they, they're kind of like a educational or something, or just almost educational. Uh, I, Eliminator. That sounds more interesting. Ooh! I think probably a lot of people here are into 8-bit machines. No, uh, Lorisi. I keep elbowing everything. I've got so much more stuff around me since I last of the... Um, uh, a, a stream. I need to really sort this area out. Oh, ooh, this looks like a, a shoot map. Excellent. My, my ship is crying. Okay. It's the same issue, though. I don't have anything to fire. I can fire with this, though. That's fine. Okay, so one hand. This is going to look really dodgy. Nobody clipped this. Oh, no, no. That's... Oh, blimey. Um, well, it's a bit... It's a bit empty. <laughs> the explosion isn't particularly great. Yes, I think Laura Ciel, they were... I think the big game on the spectrum for them was the... Was Saboteur, right? I think they did Saboteur. Which was a fantastic game.
This does look so dodgy. I, I'm looking at the small screen, and it does look so dodgy. Yeah, that's not a good game. <laughs> that's a shame. I was hoping that was going to be a good shoot up. Gemini J. Oh, it's these guys again. I'm not expecting much. Did they just make a bunch of games that were exactly the same? Is this match? Are we playing match now? We are. This is now... <sighs> I think those guys were the shovelware company of the uh, of the Thompson. Okay, so is James Debug a game, or is it some kind of tool? I guess we're going to find out. There's two of them. This looks game to me. <laughs> oh, pretty, very pretty. Uh, with a joystick, please. Hey, that's me, with more hair. That's slightly floaty. What? You can't... How do you jump to one side? Oh, my word. I, I bet Ashens has gone to write a new book now about terrible games after seeing some of these. Oh! Oh, we did it! There we go. Oh, no, that's what? Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's one of those odd things when a game that just looks so good and just is terrible and it's just surprising. Okay, okay, I'm down. Oh, I can't hit the bush. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I control it with this one instead? No, I can't. Oh, it's a cloud. Don't eat me, Mr. Cloud. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. It's fine. That's fine. Right. God's sake. Um, okay, should we try the sequel? <laughs> They look really nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll say without joystick. I think because I'm. Why am I using the joysticks when the joysticks don't work? For a start. If I say without joystick, I know that much French. Okay, so now. Oh, his hair has changed in between sequels. Oh, blimey. He's also he's also got a much better jumping ability. Look at 
look at that. <laughs> so did this did this machine suffer from um, collision uh, from color clash as well? Then they've had to change its hair to yellow. I wonder. I mean, every machine suffered it from it to a degree, but obviously none as bad quite as the Spectrum. But I'm swimming. I mean, this is already better. It's it's the whole the cowboy style jumping. Yeehaw Oh oh look at that manta ray. I can't get out of here though, I have to go back. Um I mean it's not terrible. Oh, ah. is it not possible to jump up there then? Is that what we're talking about here? I mean, they fixed the jumping problem, definitely. So obviously people complained about that in the first James debug. But it's still frustrating. <laughs> so, <laughs> But it's definitely an improvement. Candy Crush, right. That genuinely, somebody mentioned Candy Crush. It can't be the same game, surely. Oh, Java, hello. Hello. It is. Is this a, is this a more recent game? It must be a more recent game then, right? You'll be telling me about. Uh, don't forget these. All these games we make. Doing this, five hundred different versions of the same game with different graphics. Right. So, I, you haven't noticed how it works. Is you've got a dot, and you can move the dot around the different bubbles, and that tells you how what it's going to swap with. It's quite a clever way of doing it on a on a non-touchscreen device. But the kind of the question more is why? <laughs> why did someone do this? <laughs> it works though. I mean it works as a game. Oh karate. Okay, I know karate. I've got I've actually got the, the tape for it for the uh, MO5. Uh so uh, okay, is the joystick going to work though? Right. So uh, it's um, it's a it's a martial arts game, just kind of with proper animation. I mean, I think the okay, I think the fire button, rather than not working, is just always on. So yeah, so kind of ya kung fu-ish in a way, but we've they've tried to go really in with the animation as well, which I think they've done quite a good job. Marvel monochrome, but nice backdrops. <laughs> See, boy, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> it was it. I enjoyed it. <laughs>
Uh, quick, quick flurry of hits by me. Oh, oh yeah, now he's now he's now he's doing that to me now. So yeah, I mean it's it's all right. It's, it's an okay game. It's really hard. It is genuinely hard. Um, even when you take out my inability to play games, it's it's quite hard. Um. But it's pretty good. The animation's really nice. And I think the graphics... The graphics are quite nice. They're quite detailed. Obviously, everyone looks like Duncan Goodhue. But that's... um, That's fine. Or I guess more members of the Blue Man group. But... That's... that's You know, it's cool. Nice colourful black... Back, uh, look at that. Nice colourful backdrops. Even though the, the floor is just a complete black. With a little bit of shadowing effect. Yeah, okay, so I didn't win, obviously. <laughs> but it's alright. It's an alright game. It really is. Is that Loggy Cod? That cuts not Loggy Cod, is it? I think it's O. It is Loggy Cod. <laughs> oh, it's these guys again. Okay, so this is just going to be shovelware. At least we know that now. Oh, look at that. Up to four players. They they just... Did they just make this stuff once? And then they just... They just copied it. What? I just... What? What? Yeah. You know what? I think I'm just going to not bother. If it, if it says the name of that company, I'm just going to stop playing immediately. I think it's the only way. Mad dog, right. P. It's really hard to read these letters. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, all right. Um. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice animation, that's for sure. Oh, I've got a ball. Look, we've got a ball. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> what? There's a mouse. This is, this is, this is a strange game. It's another dog. Oh, what? What? Did that dog just change into a... What? Is this like from a dog's point of view or something? This is just... Ah, no, no. Go back. This is... This is nearly uncontrollable. <laughs> Why have I got a feeling I'm, I'm making him poo somehow? It just kind of feels like that. It also feels like a, the, the sort of French humour as well. God, trying to make him stop and it's, it's really hot. Which, to be fair, I used to have a Springer Spaniel. It's pretty good simulation of a dog. I don't know what I'm doing. It's an incredibly charming game, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, okay. Was that what I was supposed to be doing? Uh, right. Oh, hello, dog. It's... Um, okay. <laughs> I got caught, I think, by a dodge catcher. Um... Oh, I'm in jail. <laughs> um... I mean, that was definitely that. Magic, right. Oh, hello. It's another Titus game with what looks like a seal dressed up as a wizard. Definitely, definitely novice. We'll go with that. Can't select anything. Possibly it needs a working joystick. Well, never mind then. Meteo 7. Is that R? I think that's R. There we go, Infograms. Bit of a well known publisher. Is this Space Invaders? I think this might be Space Invaders. But just Space Invaders with an umbrella. Oh okay. I can't I can't move, but I can fire. Oh, there we go. Yes, I have movement. Right. I mean, that's inventive, I guess. I mean, it's Space Invaders with a, with a weather theme. Uh, the collision detection seems to be pretty good. Oh, so close. wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad that was an interesting um interesting space invaders clone ah right minor 2049 now okay now we're talking okay smiley face no what Okay, we did it, right. Uh, oh, okay, there we are. Right, yes, it's it's minus 24 now. 
we can. Oh, we can't jump, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't play it because we can't jump. Which is a shame. If you've ever played. If you've never played Mile 2049, though, you should do. It's a very good game. The idea is you have to walk on these platforms and make them change colour. Or in this case, I guess, change pattern. And if you manage that and you do all of, you do all the, pa the platforms and you win and you have to avoid the bad guys and if you pick up objects you can then eat the bad guys oh I guess I could do this hold on that'll work there we go you can't jump you can do this oh there we go there we are look at that this makes it slightly tricky again but that's fine and right I mean, we're not going to be completing this one because <laughs> we can't drop down there. We will die. So we, uh, yeah, we've got no kind of option but to go back down here. We'll just fall down there and down there and then up here. Cheekily grab some of those while we're at it. And then <laughs> anyway, minor 2049er. We can't play it properly, unfortunately, but it's a good game. And it's nice and colourful. That is Bounty Bob, yes. That is Bounty Bob. So, if you don't know, um, uh, minor 2049er, this is the game that kind of spawned quite a few other games, including uh, Jet Set Willy. Um, this, is, this is the direct um, inspiration for that. So, yeah. It is a very good game. It's on lots of platforms, and it is absolutely worth playing. Uh, you probably, if you watched my Super Cassette Vision stream the other day, you would have saw me play out the Super Cassette Vision, which is a fantastic version of it. Uh, oh God, Knight of the Templars. Flashbacks to uh, Curse of Oak Island. Go oh, on, taking these off. I'm going to assume the game's making uh, making a noise. But my ears are now hurting. Right. Without joysticks, because the joysticks don't work. Oh, hello. Graphic adventure. Oh. Um, interesting animation. If I know anything about graphic adventures, it's definitely in the uh, fireplace. No. Okay. Is that something we can do? Maybe it's not. Or maybe I just don't know the button. Oh, yeah. If you walk too close to a door, you will go through it. This is kind of pretty. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, if you keep pushing up when you go through a door, you go back through it again. I don't know if I just got... Can we not do anything, or have I just not got the key, the right key for that? I don't know. Oh, and again, there we are. Let's just go all the way to the top, why not? Oh, skeleton. Hello, skeleton. Are you damaging to us, or can we talk to you? Oh, oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Run, run, run. <laughs> The skeleton was the skeleton was not friendly. The skeleton was not friendly. <laughs> Surely we can do something. I mean, I've got a key. This is a haunted dress or just a dress. Yeah, you see, I feel I should be picking this up somehow. Oh, whoops. Uh, pushed the wrong button. Never mind. <laughs> Pulsar 2. Now that sounds like a shoot em up to me. Oh, 
one player. One player. Oh, yeah, this looks good. Oh, whoops. Okay, didn't react fast enough. So this looks like scramble to me, and that's uh, that's fine by me. It's not a bad version of Scramble. Uh oh, uh oh, right, there we go, there we are, there we are. Oh, blimey, that's... <laughs> that's not a bad version of Scramble, actually. It's quite colourful as well. It's kind of, the, the arrow keys on this keyboard are in a weird square, so it's really hard to, <laughs> to actually use them. Yeah, that's, that's not a terrible version of Scramble. I'm pretty impressed with that, actually. Uh, Saphir UV. Right. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, I don't know. What does any of that mean? Oh, that's a cheat mode. That's fine. We don't need that. No, um, six. Yes, there we go. Oh, hello. This looks impressive. Yes, play. Oh, hello. That's... <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess we throw bombs. Oh, we've got lasers. Look at that. Right. Interesting. Uh-oh. keys there we are oh hello this looks vicious uh yeah that, that, i'm gonna go the other way apparently we can collect all of this that's good um i can't remember what it was called doing but it's um that's not bad actually i kind of enjoy it i kind of enjoyed that all right one more game and then we're going to end the stream sappy ends i think i've played sappy ends before yes <laughs> ah, it's a it's an adventure game and i i can't speak Real, really much French, maybe one in twenty words, but it looks really nice. It's like a role-playing-ish game, I think, as well. I'm on. It's it's kind of cool. It's like a it's effectively like a menu driven adventure game, but because I can't actually, yeah, I've got nothing to use because I can't actually read any of the language. But 
but it's a pretty enough game. That's pretty good. <laughs> right. Ah. Oh. Well. Thanks to everyone that joined. Um, what I will do now is my... Uh, I guess... The attempt to try to, to actually raid someone. Um, who needs raiding? I don't even know who this person is. We're going to raid them anyway. Right. Well, thank you all for joining. Um, I will... I don't know when I'll be back, unfortunately. But um, I will attempt to uh, to be back streaming soon. I want to do an Oric stream. My Oric, though, needs a little bit of work. But I will try to do that this week. And if I do, we'll do another stream on, on Sunday. Week Sunday. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for joining me. I do appreciate every single one of you. And uh, yeah, have a good night. And we are going to go and raid somebody called Scooter Rape. I don't know who it is. Don't know. <laughs> We're going to anyway. <laughs>